Hey, good evening everyone. I just did my uh, kickboxing session as part of Fighting Fit Together, my online membership community, or mastermind, as Laurie Hammond called it yesterday. That made my day. I run a mastermind. I don't feel like a mastermind, but it took me ages to feel like a black belt. So there we go, getting over my imposter monster. But it, it was a really good session tonight. It was a tough one. Lots of cardio. Look how sweaty I am. And I wasn't really feeling like it, if I'm being completely honest. I could just pretend to be perfectly positive all the time, but I'm not. I felt a little bit tired. I had a little bit of a headache. But I decided, right, let's make it a tough one. We did an easy one last week. We did a kind of Pilates-based strength and conditioning, which I say easy. It actually used a lot of control work, a lot of balance and a lot of those muscles strengthening our glutes and our core and it was a, it was a good one but it's re it's really nice to be able to mix it up so to go from that kind of session to a high intensity cardio a little bit of technique so we did jab cross uh roll cross throwing in a kick so every week slightly different hey if you're watching live say hi let me know you're watching how how are you how are you this evening or if you're watching this back hashtag replay let me know what you're up to um yeah. Anyway, so what was I going to talk about? Mindfulness and connection and fear, all of these things. I'm going out for a walk in the dark because it's dark. I'm here in England. It's half seven in the evening now. It's completely pitch black and I live by the woods and I walk to the church. And about a month ago, I would have been terrified. I would have been absolutely, I couldn't get to the bottom of the field. So you leave my house next to the pub and there's a field and you still get light from the houses in that field and I could get as far as the field but I would feel that fear and I would start to feel that panic in my chest and I, I would be determined, I would use that willpower, I'm going to get to the woods, I walk this daily in the daylight, I will be okay and I couldn't do it, I couldn't overcome that fear, it would get a grip on my chest, every noise, every sound, I'd start to panic and I'd have to go home. I just, I couldn't overcome it. And do you know what's helped me overcome it? Hypnotherapy. I wouldn't have believed that telling someone, speaking to their subconscious mind helps them overcome a fear or a phobia, but I've experienced it. And I am so grateful to have experienced it because now I can go walking freely, free from that fear in the dark. So I get that time and I, I, there's no one else out there. I always wonder what will happen if I bump into someone in the woods in the dark. Will I panic? I've yet to see anyone. It's so peaceful out there. And I was just talking to Liz about it. Liz is a forest school practitioner. So that's what she does. She works with people in the woods and she helps them find mindfulness, mindfulness and connection with nature. And that's what she said. She said, go to the woods and connect listen pay attention to your surroundings listen to what you can hear feel what you can feel and I decided I'm going to go and do that in the graveyard because I'm not actually scared of the graveyard I'm not even scared of the graveyard in the dark and so I'm going to go I'm going to walk up there it's a three mile walk to go from my house up to the church around the field and back I've run it enough times I've run it enough times on fight camp but I'm enjoying walking it at the moment but I don't normally stop and take time to be mindful. So that's what I'm going to do this evening. I'm going to go there. Hey Kat, how are you? And I'm going to sit in the graveyard and I'm just going to almost meditate, I guess. I, don't, I still haven't fully worked out how to meditate. I should pretend that I know better than I am. I think it is just a case of allowing your thoughts to flow, allowing yourself to be and noticing becoming more mindful. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to obviously walk home. And I will listen to a podcast on my walk there and back. But I'm going to go and make those that time, take those moments to just be in the graveyard. And hopefully I won't get scared because I haven't felt any fear since I was hypnotised. So there's my happy ending to this story. I used to have great fear of the dark. Now I don't. And now I'm going to go and use it to practice mindfulness. 
And then I'm going to come home and eat my dinner because I love food. So have a lovely day, everybody. Have a lovely evening, everybody, if you're watching this this evening. If you watch it back, if you're watching it back tomorrow morning or whenever you do, hashtag replay. Let me know. What do you do to be mindful as well? Do you have any practices? Do you have any fears? Have you managed to overcome your fears before? Or do you feel like they're holding you back? If that's something that you would like to overcome, I am confident that hypnosis can help you because I've experienced it. Hey, Derek. How are you? And just make time, even if it's one minute, 30 seconds, make some time to be mindful. You don't have to go and do it in the dark in a graveyard. You don't have to do it like me. That's just what I'm choosing to do. So there we go. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you for listening.